This is the second time I'm going to open a uh, Reflex Racing Servo. The first time I did it and I took a video of it, it took like 15 minutes. Um, and it's uh, too long of a video, so I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, this is not mine. Something broke inside. It's the gearing. And the replacement part is this. The first thing you want to do is to remove the four screws in the back with a BH00 screwdriver. This is really the only tool you'll need. But uh, I'll show you a way to remove this part out of the unit. Because removing this, you got to push down these two tabs. And that's not easy. That part is not easy. So let's remove the screws first. There's four in the back. Okay, after that, the next step is to push down on these two tabs like that, but that's hard. So what I do is I put a duct tape or a, um, a Gorilla tape so I don't scratch the servo and so that I have traction for the scissor, this specific scissor. I know most of us have this. It's for cutting the Lexan body. I put it on the tab. Okay, it's sitting on the tab. Obviously, try not to touch that. Put your <clears throat> fingers away from that part and then just push it down. See? Easy. Take that out. Let's see the damage. Okay. Skipping. To remove this, you need to kind of slowly walk its way up by prying this and then this. I guess I'm going to need the, because uh, you can't just pull it. See, it's hard. So I guess this is another tool that you're going to want to use as well. Uh, flathead and try not to pry it from the bottom gear just on the the casing the housing of the servo oh well this one's a lot easier i pretty much just popped it from this this guy right here and then i used my my nail the other one that i did took a while okay so that's out and the broken part is this right there. Like mine. I broke mine too. This part. Oh, right there. That's the tooth. This is the brand new kit that you're going to need. That part. Get this. Then to put it back. Put this gear in between these um, these gears, and then put the shaft in there. At the same time, you want to line up the hole from that gear. I hope you can see it on the video. It's kind of hard to do this and look at the, the camera. Then I'm just gonna push down a little bit with a little bit of pressure and while I'm rotating it. Okay, went through. Okay, there you go. Then I'm gonna check it. Just turn it left and right. There's no grainy feel. There's no notchy feel and it's not skipping. So that's it, we're good. Put this back. Put the screws back in. And that's it. Now it's ready to run. This is actually not mine. I did it for um, the, the shop, the limo. So now they owe me a kit. <laughs> Alright, that's it.